hello guys uh, welcome to another video uh, tutorial on uh, git and today we are going to install git in uh, windows and uh, we've started by logging into our machine and uh, we've opened our browser after and in opening our browser in your favorite search engine you can search for git and uh, you will navigate to one of the links for the git uh, that is shown front of you uh, we will also share the link in the description below so we'll first start by uh, downloading our git uh, but before then we need to check whether our, our computer is the 32 or 64 bit and uh, you can right click this pc and check whether it's 32 or 64 bit uh, we're also going to add a link in the description below on how to check or to confirm if your computer in windows is uh, using 32 or 64 bit so you go to settings uh, from settings you select click on system as shown there and then you can click uh, you can scroll down on the left panel and click about so when you click about it brings the information of your computer device name processor and all that so the under system type mine is shown 64 bit so i'm going to download a 64 bit installer for git so if your machine is 32 bit, then you should download the 32 bit version. And then uh, the download will start. It's not a very big file. So it should complete in a few moments. So Git is used by developers all over the world uh, to version code and to you know maintain code in different versions and also collaborate in software development. So it is a very important tool uh, when it comes to software development and uh, maintaining uh, you know history of uh, uh, development or uh, think of it as a catalog of sorts of what has been happening when the software has been is being developed so we have downloaded it and uh, we're just going to run it uh, that's how it, uh, it looks like in the computer yeah so after running it, it will show us the installation wizard. You can read the license, accept, uh, you can select the path to where you want to download. Uh, these options, you can select them as you wish. And then click next. From there, we have these editor. So in this case, you only have the notepad editor. It, uh, you do not have Visual Studio code, but if you need any other editor there, you can install, download and install it. Uh, before proceeding on that step then we leave the other options as default and click next uh, you can decide if you want to use git bash external open ssh and uh, the open ssl libraries so we for these other options we leave them as they are just click next and then we we'll can continue and then we click install so it will begin installing uh, once again it should just take a few moments and then after it has installed we are going to see how we can uh, use it so it's a very powerful uh, tool so we are going to after it has installed uh, we are going to open the command prompt, uh, the terminal, the, the command prompt for Windows. Now, if you have the Windows terminal as well, you can use it. So, yeah, so just click finish. Uh, it, uh, it will open the install notes because that check, there's a checkbox that was checked saying open uh, install notes. So you can read through and see the change log of the software, what has changed and what has improved. So you're going to click on the start button or the windows button on our keyboard. And then we'll open the command prompt, just typing CMD and this is how it looks like. So we just type in git. So this means that git has been added to the windows path because you can see some information just from typing uh, git, the git command. 
So we have the git help, which uh, gives us the explains what the commands do, each command, and the type of commands as well. Then we have the git a, uh, and uh, the git help, git help rather. So the git help command gives uh, kind some kind of an information, detailed information on what our different commands do. For a, the A stands for all and G stands for the guides. So we have all these uh, switch switches or uh, additional uh, commands. So we'll just clear the screen and you can navigate to our test folder that you can we can see on our on our left side on the desktop. So there's a folder called a test folder. And uh, we we're first going to clear the contents of that folder. So yeah, there's a folder there for a previous project that uh, I, I had downloaded. Uh, so we'll just clear it, uh, delete the files. So what, what you want us to do, you want to see one functionality of uh, the git command. Uh, in our previous video on Linux, we probably may not covered some things but uh, the commands are more or less similar both across windows and linux so i've opened github uh, you can open github and uh, navigate to a given repository so what you're going to do you're going to identify one of the projects one project and then we uh, clone it into our computer using the git clone uh, command so we can look at uh, one of the projects which is a uh, the this uh, uh, Django leaflet. So I'll click on code, the green button, and there's another small button there. Whenever I clicked on it, it copies uh, to the clipboard, and then I'm just going to type in git clone and space, and then I control V for pasting that link, and uh, I'll click enter. So when I click enter, it uh, pulls or it clones it from the GitHub uh, repository into the computer. So if I click uh, type dir, I can see there's a folder there written uh, Django leaflet. So it has been uh, pulled from the GitHub repository into uh, the computer. So we can also try and pull another uh, another repository like this one for the desktop calculator. So we'll uh, likewise we'll copy it, copy the link, and then we can paste the link uh, into the cmd or the command prompt after typing git clone so there are many other commands for git and uh, you, uh, you can read the git documentation for them so we'll let's try and clone our uh, second project so it pulls it on the web and this is a similar to what the like the id is like pycharm does when you download or when you create a project from github as long as you have the link you can just pull it and uh, clone it into your computer and uh, work on it so you can read the git documentation uh, by just uh, opening the docs page inside uh, in the in the github website so this is how it looks like uh, you can read through the reference manual uh, which is uh, quite informative uh, share my videos and uh, click like uh, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button for notifications when you get a new video